All right, so I want to go ahead and get this video. Uh, I do this live, man. It's rain and connection just not going to work. So I'm going to do this again. Um, so the title of this is, is Gamer Lives Matter, Pimp and Weapon Will. So I want to do this uh, a little while ago uh, just to have time, you know. Uh, what I want them, um, what I'm trying to figure out is what is uh, what is his purpose? Why, why he's doing this? Uh, he says it's for the gaming community. I, I mean, we've heard that for the last few weeks. Uh, if you don't know who Gamer Lives Matter is, um, he came up with a challenge for Kid Smooth that he had to be Uncharted 4 and crushing, and I think it was 10, 14 days. Can't really remember which one. So uh, he said, yeah, he came up with the challenge. Kid Smooth was hassling him at first, but then he accepted the challenge. No biggie. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, Kid Smooth did the challenge, failed the challenge. Um, uh, four, uh, I think the other members got $100. Uh, that was the part of the bet. And then Kid Smooth got $100 also just for, you know, taking time out of his day. You know, he got kids, he got family. So... Hey, he took a lot of time to uh, get that situated, uh, playing that game, and we have all those responsibilities. So I understand that as a father, father and uh, husband myself. So then he came out and uh, issued out another challenge for the for for the other memory, which was uh, uh, BG, Hardy, Jimmy, and Jack Move. Now this was for $4,000 challenge. So each member would get $1,000 each if they can complete Hell Divers, complete it 100% uh, in 14 days. And then it was 14 days and then became 18 days. Which if you know about Hell Diver, that takes like 90 hours. There is no way that was gonna be, no way you would be able to complete, complete that. Just no way. But they said he came out. Um, some I don't know who looked up the stats. No one, I guess, no one like decided to look up the stat before they accepted the challenge. And they just like pretty much came to an agreement after one stream, like, hey, we just not possible, which it wasn't. So then, um, Hard Eight, which I'm glad he said something because I was saying some. He asked, he's like, hey, did you come up with that challenge or did anybody else? And he had Game of Lives Matter. It's like, no, uh, the gaming community did. So then it, it dawned on me. It's like, all right, so you got, all right, you got the gaming community to find out if about this challenge. Uh, why you couldn't come up with a game, you know, something a little bit challenging to come up with. So I guess Hard Eight went and saw the guy's trophy list, and he asked him like, "Hey, uh, what's up? You got no trophies or a little bit of trophy? I can't remember if he had a little or none at all." And dude was like, "Oh, I'm too busy and all this and all all these is, is as I said excuses of why he don't have that you no know, uh no, nothing to, to back up." his claim as a gamer which um he's like oh i'm too busy now uh for somebody who like me who's, who's always constantly busy got kids no no after school programs you know appointments all this work for him to say you got no time come on you got time to be on podcast if you got time to be on podcast you got time to play games. You could be you could be listening to a podcast and playing video games at the same time. That's what I sometimes do. I never get to watch like any of the guys stuff on like live because you no know, different time zone. So for you to say like hey, I have no time, that's that's crazy to me. Um. So then. I uh, I think it was Jimmy. Uh, I, he asked him about the money. Like, hey, can I see the money up like up front 
before we accept this cha another challenge from you because they all agreed like even gave me a lot of matters like hey we gonna revamp this we gonna try to find another game which <laughs> he had the gamer community come out with killing floor two he didn't come up with that game himself so <laughs> another thing and it's like you can't it can't be done so then they uh so he's like all right hell divers too i think they're gonna get out like I think all the missions, I'm not really sure. Probably gonna find out next episode what the actual challenge is gonna be, which I will be on it. I was scheduled to be on the next uh, Weapon Well podcast. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, I'm gonna represent you know, the military gaming community, as Gamer Lives Matter like to say. So, yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. But, uh, he said that he didn't have the money. Game lost money did not have the money right right then and there. Told Jimmy like, hey, I'm gonna get them. I, I got twenty thousand dollar check coming in June, and I give you guys money if you guys complete the challenge. I give you guys money then. Now for me, uh, being uh, born and raised in Arkansas, I've seen a lot of scams, and that's a red flag. If you well, you make a bet, you have to have the money up front. You show the money, you're like, all right, let's make this bet. That, that just that's a red flag. And he's from, I think he's from Tennessee, so he's down south. He, he know how people are down there. It's, I mean, it's everywhere. People are scamming, and this gaming community is a lot of frauds out there. A lot of people say they play games, you go to their trophy list, you know. Is it a lock? Is not they not showing the the achievements? They not showing the trophies? They got it locked down. Nobody can see it, and that's a that's another red flag. If you hide your trophies and you can't prove that like, hey you beat this game that you said that you that you're talking about, then I don't trust you. They just that's that's me. I wish everyone else was like that. And of course, we you know one other podcast. A lot of their members. Uh, got their stuff uh blocked uh but yeah so it's yeah it's a lot of things that a lot of shady stuff that i'm seeing dude i think it, he's he has the right uh mind yeah I, I i think he does have the right mind but the way he came at it, it kind of seems like he just came out of nowhere uh he's out there trying to get people to come to his his channel because he's trying to start up a channel he see that people are making money off this yeah he sees it as, as a way to get people to come in his channel check him out but people see through that people the, the, the real people see through that i saw through it the first day i saw it uh when he was on the um the stream uh the hell dollar stream that the weapon world podcast had he asked, he's like, hey, can I be a moderator? How are they? was like, no. He's like, I don't even know you. And I understand that. Like, dude, we just met. And you now you're trying to be in my circle? No. You gotta earn that trust. I like, I'm not gonna trust you just because you get you giving away money. No, that's you not I can't be bought. And I think Hard Eight, like, like he, he kept it real. He's like, hey, yo, like I think he he saw through that. Uh, if you knew, like, would they accept the challenge before? He didn't even accept the challenge. He's like, nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. And I think he had the same thought. I think he, he kind of kept his, um, his real opinion to himself until now, because he's like, uh, he's like, I'm gonna give him this guy a chance. But then he came back that same ep um, podcast, like, I, right, I, I accept, yeah, because especially when he, <laughs> he found out. Kofi was gonna be the, the other fourth member. I, I don't know where that came from, but yeah, he's like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do this challenge, whatever. But yeah, I don't know what his true intentions are. He, I think he could have did it a better way, uh, but yeah, this gaming community is a lot of toxic people out there. There's a lot of frauds, a lot of liars. Uh, gaming, you know, twelve thousand dollar PCs out there, house burning down, house, that, 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 you know, uh, people going at Dells because something is not on their platform, so they threaten them, threaten them, and everything. But yeah, so that's all I gotta say for now. 
I will make a follow up video. Um, you're going to see in a couple of weeks what's going to happen. Uh, I think he's a cool guy. I think he might have the, the right uh, mindset. But if you're going to give out a gaming challenge, make sure you play games. That's that's one thing I don't like. If somebody who doesn't play games tries to come in and issue a challenge when they don't play a game. That's like somebody come to me trying to have an argument in sports or about my Cowboys. Uh and try to tell me like hey your your team should do this and that but you don't know anything about them you know nothing about the cowboy know nothing about football don't come to me if you don't know anything try to issue me a challenge or try to bet me and you know nothing about it that's all all i ask is play some games if you want to issue a, a game and challenge but that's all i got um that's going uh, sit here take too much of y'all time uh, thank you guys for watching please like subscribe uh, make sure you check out military gaming podcast uh, if you want to che um, check out weapon wheel podcast go ahead check that out uh, to me that's the uh, the number one well number two i say military game podcast you know number one but you know what i'm saying they 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 up there in my top top two top three uh, best podcast right now so go ahead check it out i will be there um i think it's gonna be six or seven o'clock uh japan time I, i'm not really sure with eastern time i i try to put that in the description or comment that uh once i find out what time it is eastern time but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll holler at y'all later let me go get this this car you know worked on all right, peace.